The white-haired woman blows her horn. The snake lunges at its prey like a madman. David takes the boy and runs. The snake spat fire and attacked. A god and a man can only hide. The boy jumps out as bait to attract attention. David flashes his spear and stabs the serpent in the jaw. The snake opened its mouth. David dodged it. Then he nailed the snake's mouth to the wall with his spear. On the other side, the boy was being chased by the white serpent and led him to the palace. The broken stone pillars slowed his opponent. David jumped on the back of the snake and fought with the white-haired girl. At that moment the boy led the white snake to the edge of the cliff. The snake was too fast to stop. It plunged into the abyss. The black snake saw his companion fall and came to take revenge. Then a woman came to him. The master commanded the black snake to breathe fire and kill her, but it opened its mouth wide. The next moment it became silent. The woman ordered the snake to breathe fire on itself. The snake felt the cold in its body, then it breathed fire to warm itself. In no time it was cooked.